Hi, I'm Josh, and welcome back to Guild Wars. Um, last time we did Alona Reach, which was one of the three missions you have to do to get into Augury Rock. Right now we're going to be doing the Dunes of Despair. It's called that for a good reason. Uh, Dunes of Despair it has the hardest bonus mission. Uh, the hardest bonus for any mission in the base prophecy campaign. I'm uh, rather upset because I already tried this once and I lost. So let's go do this again. Once my people came to the desert and built a great temple, but while we labored, we were set upon by the stewards of the desert, the Forgotten. They killed my people, and now another ghost sits upon my throne. I beseech you, help me return to the temple. Help me reclaim my throne and my passage into the Hall of Heroes. So, that's the premise of this mission. The premise of this mission is not... Um, like uh, Ilona Reach, capture the flag. No, this mission has got King of the Hill as its central premise. Ooh, centaurs. Not minotaurs, but centaurs. What variety? Mm. The bonus of this mission is actually kind of hard. You need to defend the ghostly hero while simultaneously sending people out to kill a bunch of enemies in a castle. So you need to split the party. Uh, you should know you never split the party. So my plan is to leave Raza and Olius behind. Which would leave us with no healers. It might be better to leave... Hmm. Raza and one of the Mesmers behind, but I can't do that with my current setup. Hmm. I tried leaving Raza and the Master of Whispers behind, that also didn't work. My next idea is to duck, dodge, and weave back and forth. At some points, leaving Raza and the Master of Whisper behind, at other points returning to clean up the enemies. It's only going to be one, ones and twos, small groups, that are going to be coming in at a time. So it shouldn't be too hard to find opportunities to run away. And Ghost the Hero isn't following us, which is annoying. Let's go get him. This guy actually has a name, by the way, the Ghost of the Hero. His name's Turai Osa. He united the entirety of all three provinces of Alona. And he imprisoned the great evil. Needless to say, we'll hear more about him in the third campaign of the game. Night Guild Wars and Nightfall. Yeah, yeah, move. The ghostly hero and priests also take um, are also part of the some of the multiplayer maps. Interestingly enough, King of the Hill, as in stay on one point and hold it, is the way to win the ever go ever continuing multiplayer tournament. From the start of the game till now, which is for 19 years, there has been a tournament going on which is called the Hall of Heroes. There is one map in the game called the Hall of Heroes. If you win the multiplayer tournament, eventually you're going to end up there. You win one round, you win two rounds, you win three rounds, and eventually the environment of the, of the PvP area starts looking less gray and more golden. Once the environment is completely gold, you're at the final level of the pyramid, and you'll be fighting the best players in the game. and conquer the Hall of Heroes. This is a siege worm. It's straight from Dune. 
And it's dying pretty quick, interestingly enough. Get punked. I'm actually not gonna fight this group yet. Not yet. We're going up there. There's some more centaurs here. Oh, well. The bone minions are gonna fight the snakes. It's fine. Come on, fight me. There's three of you. I can stun you all at once. There's two of you. I can stun you all at once. Bonk. And I did. Ooh, honeycomb. What does that do? I think I remember. It gives you 5% more elbows for the entire party. Yes, please. Yeah, some of these objects are overpowered. Uh, the birthday cupcake gives you 100% maximum health for yourself. I like that. Yeah, we're gonna use a few tricks in this mission. Simply because, uh, to be blunt, this is the hardest bonus in the entire base game. Fun fact, these uh, centaurs, they're Elonian centaurs. They look pretty much exactly like Zed Shadowhoof, which is, which is a uh, hero you can get in the third campaign. A centaur you can get in the third campaign. It's quite nice. So one of the people I have with me right now could have been an Elonian centaur, but I felt that was a bit too weird to start off with. Also, elementalists are not the strongest. <laughs> Mesmers can do most of what they do, and can also interrupt enemies, so... Okay, uh, they're both pretty good at energy management, and they're also both pretty good at attacks. Elementalists do better area attacks, but Mesmers... better at interruptions. Up ahead, inside the Temple of Ascension, is the throne of Pelantia. The gods gaze down from the Hall of Heroes, granting their favor to those who control the throne. But there is another spirit who sits upon that hallowed throne. The temple is well guarded. Hmm. Get me inside so that we may supplant the usurper. He must be destroyed before I can retake the throne. Yeah, those worms are going to do sieges upon us. Keep me safe while I cast the ritual to open the door. Yeah. So the, the siege worms are going to be artillery pieces they are going to oppose us, as well as more snake men. So, some back background on the snake men. When the gods first brought the humans to Tyria, the, they weren't the first species that the gods brought to Tyria. The first species the gods brought to Tyria was the forgotten, the snake men. They were the essentially the angels of the gods. They helped carve the world into shape. Not, not true, it's propaganda. They helped shepherd the peoples of the world. Uh, the, the snake men were essentially the um, sidekicks of the gods, and when the, their job was done, the snake snake people voluntarily exiled themselves to the crystal desert to not get annoyed and bothered by the mortal young races ever again. This is not true. The, this is propaganda. The actual origin of the snake people, of the forgotten, will be revealed. Uh, actually, in Guild Wars 2, but I'll reveal it to you in the third mission of this set. Also, uh, there might be a... If we fail this again, I'm probably gonna cut the video and start over. But we'll be continuing from after this point. Until, uh, up until this point, things have gone pretty smoothly. So finding the right approach might take a few more tries. We'll see. Okay. So where do I put the slow totem? I'm guessing west? You idiots, kill the enemy ghostly hero. Thank you very much. Oh, my ghostly hero is uh, following me. Whatever. Okay. Hold out while the ghostly hero performs his ritual. You need to get to, to the throne, boy. You 
good? Good. Gain more glory, bonus, by defeating the three forgotten generals and their minions within their forts. Kill those arcanists. Now, please. Okay. Now I want you and you to move back over there. Actually, let's make it Olias, but not the Master of Whispers. Okay. Need to stop messing around. I also need to activate another trump card of mine, the Legionnaire Summoning Crystal. Summoning Crystals are hard to explain, but essentially they create an extra party member. And for a six-player mission, that sounds useful. Hello, Custodian Fidus. Fight me. I've got some crippled, uh, some uh, blind protection. A Surin Scan, it's called. Attacks cannot miss target foe. Killing a foe hex with a Surin Scan removes five percent death penalty. Second part is not very important. Okay, let's retreat. Let's retreat right now. We've killed most of the enemy forces. So let's wait a few more minutes. Oh, and we should also kill the seed one, right. Kill the Arcanists, please. Thank you. Okay, let's kill the Seed Worm. The um, Mesmer should be pretty good with that. That's good. I don't know what the uh, the camera did there, but I really don't like it. Actually, let's clean house all of it. Curse bearers, enchanted hammer and sword. Ooh, there's three of those. No, 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 no. That's not okay. Did another worm just spawn? Yes, they did. Okay. Kill it. Did I get a weakness debuff? Yes, I did. Forces move. So even if I'm messing around. Oh, that's a boss over there. <laughs> that's bad. We need to kill that boss soonish. Kill the bows. Okay, the this is where I need to use this ability. Yeah, I'm blinded, but this guy's hacked, so I, I nothing can miss against them. So I don't know about you, but I just saw that. Hess. Hello, Hess. Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> okay, we got five minutes left. Okay, drop. Go. You two stay. going to the bonus. The rest of the bonus. 
Say Gwen, can we get a speed boost? Oh look, the final siege worm's here. Yay, good timing. I really hope we're actually doing this. Left. Let's go. Bishahist and Siskrisha. Don't know who they are, but they're gonna die. You will fall. Just as those before you have failed. Oh, another one with Order of the Vampire. Well, you're near your melee allies, so you're gonna die pretty quick. That's great. Come on. Time to go. Oh boy. Well, we got the bonus at least. And yes, you can get the bonus without finishing the mission, so you can go all in on this stuff. Get it. Master of Whispers is dead. It's bad. Norgu, could you kindly resurrect the guy? Thank you. Oh god, we need to get back now. Also want that Aegis. I know, I know. We need to get back now. Here we go. The ghostly hero needs to not die. In the name of all the gods, the ghostly hero needs to not die. Oh, come on, 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 come on. Yes, yes, good, good. Seed worm, okay. You two idiots stay behind. We're moving. I think he hit the bridge. Oh, thank God, I think he hit the bridge. Summoning sickness. For 10 minutes, you can't summon anything. By the way, the Legionnaire is the most powerful summon you can have. Uh, he costs a skill point every time you use him. He's uh, very strong. He's very lovely. But you shouldn't just use him for nothing. So, all the experience I gained from this whole saga has been spent on this guy. I got one level up, maybe two. I don't know. Either way... That's what he costs, a level up, essentially, after level 20. A level up you can also spend on a skill, like one of these, in that eight, eight bar, in the eight skill bar. Yes. So yeah, I could either buy a new skill that I could slot into one of my eight slots, or I can summon the um, Char Legionnaire for one mission, for half an hour. Okay, we got one minute left. We did the bonus, and I think we should be able to defend ourselves against anything that shows up. Unless there's like 30 siege worms at once. I'm rather contented about this. I'm quite contented. I also want to see if this Aegis has anything useful on it. Because I might get an inscription. Oh no, you can't get inscriptions off of Prophecy's gear. Whatever. Hmm. 30 seconds to go. We seem to be fine. Yeah, not much in the way of hostiles. In which case, might, well, might as well get some uh, money. Well, the Legionnaire is going to follow me. That's wonderful.
and we have won. Lovely. One more mission to go before we are worthy to ascend. And we got another item, a ball hammer. Once again, we return to Augury Rock. Because that's the mission we're going to do after completing all these ascension ones. I actually want to see what I got. From my loot. Okay. These are all items I could disassemble. But let's see what they. Let's identify them first. Oh, virtuoso. I've probably got some prodigy insignias, but virtuoso is not bad. Let's do Rune of Attunement first. It didn't destroy the armor. Nice. Still didn't destroy it, so I just got profit off that. I'm gonna sell all this junk. Highly salvageable. Okay. Bonk. 23 iron. Nice. Ooh. Composite Bow of Fortitude. Nothing I can change about that. And Aegis, health well in the, in the stance. That's quite nice, but I can't do anything with it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time when we're going to do Thirsty River, the last of the three missions.